gonna try to paint this worse. Okay, notice all the little fine grass on the ground. You can see the face of horse, this mane. My understanding, I think this is a Appaloosa horse. I think. Could be wrong. But we're going to do some quick diagrams. We're just going to paint it up real quick and then we're going to throw some uh, ink on there. Okay? Okay, have fun. Just remember this is practice and we're just having fun. have fun. Don't worry about anything. Get this container open. These are, uh, I think they're from the Dollar Tree. I'm not sure. We're just going to use these real quick. Set them sideways, whatever you want to do. I'm just gonna slide them, slide them sideways. Get my water right here so I can dip. And we're gonna do some shapes. First, we're gonna get some water. So I'm gonna move this up. Yes. Okay, so we'll just get a little bit of Gonna do a couple shapes here real quick. We're gonna just go like this. And go like so. Let's try this real quick. super high quality but it's okay don't worry just put it on there just want to get the we're gonna work on the back leg and don't worry about it if it doesn't look perfect Portions. We're going to do the stomach area next. It's going to kind of come down. If you have a paper towel, if you mess up with this part, just get your paper towel and just wipe it off. It doesn't matter. We'll paint over it later. And don't worry about it. Just kind of just follow the shapes. There we go. We're, we're on our way. It looks kind of a skinny horse, but that's okay. You can see this little area right here? So you can see that there's a little, looks almost like a horseshoe right there over the leg. Let's see if there's one back here. Actually, this one goes opposite. It looks like it, oops. Looks like it goes down. This one kind of gives you a horseshoe horseshoe shape on its on its leg, front leg, right leg. So kind of put that horseshoe. Just do it the way you want to do it. And then bring the other leg down, straight down. And then just finish up the legs. See how the legs line up? See how they line up to right here? Just line them up. They're ones One's going this way, and the other one, let's get a little bit more water, is going out this way. So I'll put a little bit of dark right there and a little bit on the back leg, and then we'll bring this down. 
bring the front of the leg and then spring it like that. Leg. The left leg is back, so you're going to put kind of like this. And then we'll leave its hooves for, for later. We'll add that in. Okay. Now we're going to do the main real quick. This is all simple. Just, just do it. You can see the mane coming down. And just follow the mane down. Follow the mane down to its ears. And then we're gonna give one ear, and then we're gonna give another ear. Don't, and then take a look at it. See where you're at. Doesn't look exactly the same, but you're kinda of getting the idea, see? And then, go down here. Think of it this way. You're not doing it exactly the same. This is your artwork. And do its jaw. See, it kind of has a heavy jaw right here. And emphasize the jaw, make it even bigger. So that way you can kind of get an idea. And then bring the jaw down, the line, and then, and then you see like a little line right here. And then the eyes. Just remember the eyes are just gonna be like this for now. We're gonna fill it in and then bring the slope of the head. He's eating off the he's eating grass. So you're gonna put his nose down to the grass. And imagine his nose being down to the grass. So you can make a long nose because I'm sure all horses aren't exactly the same. You know, you can make his nose a little bit a little bit longer. And then you can kind of bring this up right here. And then make its mouth. And it's eating, so you kind of want it just imagining what's going on. Imagine that he's taking a chomp of grass. And then the mouth looks like it's kind of going sometimes, so it's going to look like it's he's chewing. So we bring his mouth down. And then he's, uh, there you go. Perfect. And then let's just tell. Okay. So you're going to bring it back here. If this back end doesn't look right, just kind of lift it up a little bit. And then give yourself a tail. See how easy that is? Oops. If you don't like that tail, Get your paper towel, and, which is in my hand. <laughs> okay, and then just kind of just wipe it off. Oops, I wiped off a little too much, but we can fix it all. Nothing's, you can't mess this up. Besides, this is just practice anyways. So, well, that was a dunzo, but color so if you don't like this gray kind of add a little bit of white and add a little bit of uh, black make your own little gray and then just kind of in his armpit area there's a little bit of uh, a little bit of shading right here and there's a little bit of shading in here too and a little bit of shading right here Go around shading in the things that you want to do. And then your, your painting will come to life. And then if you don't like the way it's back is smoothed out right here, kind of take a little bit of a black and you can, you can lift it up a little bit more and, Make it def more defined or whatever you want to do, give it more dimension. Kind of put a little, like a little, a little thing going on here. There you go. And then take a little bit of, let's fix this tail. Okay, so we kind of want to 
slightly. gives it a different appearance and it gives it a its own characteristic making its back like this I like it and then what you can do let it dry for a second let's see if we're lined up here yeah we're lined up here and then you can see what the difference is I mean obviously that's not the same as this but it gives you gives it your own uh, style So, let's put a little grass. Just gonna cut a little bit of grass right in here, and then I'm gonna All this, all this stuff right here it looks like it's kind of bumpy. We'll just kind of, when it dries off, we'll kind of wipe that away so it'll give it a better appearance. I know there's some marks here, but this is just practice. Yeah. And then if you want to, you can just, let's liven it up a little bit. Let's put a little blue sky in here. Let's put a little blue sky in here. See how good this looks. With just a little bit of, just a little bit of blue. Not much. further let's uh 
let's uh, kind of block out some stuff back here. Just kind of get rid of some things back here. We'll just a brush. Always have an extra brush on hand. Let's we'll throw a house up here or something on the hillside. You really don't know what it is. But you're gonna think you're gonna know. It could be a could be a house or Something back here. And we'll put a couple trees up in here. You can see the trees. I'm just kind of making it your own. Time of the do you want it nighttime or do you want it daytime? Let's just see. Let's see if we can make it more more dusk. Throw in a little bit of darker colors. I know this paper is not the best, but it's okay. There's fancier brushes for these tail. The you can spend a lot of money or you can spend a little bit of money and still have the same amount of fun. But once you get into the better brushes, it will make your make your pieces much better. Okay, let's let this dry. Skype with a pen. We're going to do his ears first.
This is that uh, thing I was telling you about. Almost looks like a horseshoe. You can kind of just do it. Just do it quick. Doesn't have to be perfect. Your mind will put together what this thing is. You notice the hoof, I'm kind of filling it in a little bit. Now I'm gonna bring it straight up so it looks kind of slender right in here. It'll give you a good leg. And then this one looks kind of fat right here, see? Looks like I kind of screwed it up a little bit when I was painting it. That's it. We're just gonna tighten it up a little bit. That looks more slender. What do you know? There you go, that looks much better. Okay, and then we're gonna kinda this guy's butt. It's kind of kind of wonky. So let's fix his butt so it looks like he does some exercise. I'm gonna work on his leg, make kind of tighten it up a little bit. better. Pull a little grass right here. It's kind of neat. It's like he's... You, do the, you don't have to copy the grass to lay them down. It's just do it. Just, just stick that grass on there. Get your large brush. Get your, well, not a large, it's kind of a GB mid size brush. And then let's put some patches of some dirt around here. So it looks like. much better and then if you want to add some more color like the oh forgot the spots so we're just gonna just put little spots around everywhere because that's how we roll here and we're just gonna put some shading in here okay some more 
circles around here. That's what it is. I didn't realize his neck was so short, but he's moving. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna see he's moving. Kind of smooth this out so you get that cool. something. great book um, I bought it used and it's horses and ponies but it's pretty cool there's a lot of ponies in here a lot of horses in here and it shows you everything how to do it so this is our studio so I'm thinking it's a Michael's book it's pretty cool oh it's Walter Foster pretty cool. Well, that's it. <laughs>